Good morning. Uh, Mr. Raw asked me to do this test this morning. Uh, Mr. Beeks, I will, if you want to trade places, uh, I'll be glad to do that. We'll play some uptown funk song or something like that. Hey ladies, counselors, welcome. I'm introducing our counselors as we're walking in. I'm testing out our lab system this morning. See you both, you're pretty awesome. You're pretty awesome over there. Are those seniors standing in the, in the door over there, Ms. Miller? Okay. Hopefully, are, are we, we know that we are streaming live. Mr. Rawls, is that correct? We're streaming live. Awesome.
walking. When they start.
It is so good to see you here this morning. I want to say thank you for, for taking this time and, and taking it seriously to honor some of the traditions that we typically have at Barton Nelson High School. In fact, you all are helping us to reestablish some of those moments. And so I want to say thank you for that. Thank you for being here to support your classmates. And remember that these activities that we will begin and, and conclude with graduation are to honor you. So when you show up to support your fellow classmates, you are honoring the class of 2021, and we certainly want to do that today. In fact, your class of 2021 officers has spent a lot of time. We have worked for the past two or three weeks, as soon as we found out that we could do some things uh, with, uh, because of uh, our COVID protocol of relaxation, your, your officers have worked really hard to put some things together for you. So senior officers, will you please stand and let's give them a round of applause. I also, I also want to say there, are, there will be other people to thank here in a few minutes, but I also want to say thank you to our central office people who have come to support you all. They have many, many things on their plates, many things on their calendar today, but they took time out from this morning to sit to, to celebrate you and to congratulate you. So I want to say thank you to Dr. Robert Moore, Superintendent of Schools for Northwest ISD. I also want to say thank you to Dr. Michael Griffin, Assistant Superintendent of Freedom and Instruction. And I also want to appreciate so much Dr. Logan Ferris, Executive Director of Secondary Education, here this morning to support us as well. I see a few members uh, over here to our right. We'll talk about our teachers here in a second. But you know, there's a person over to your left, which is my right, Mr. Howard Putter. Mr. Putter, wave to us, please. You know, Mr. Putter uh, is retiring this year, but he has a legacy of soccer, probably the most winningest soccer coach in boys' Texas history. So we're glad you're here, Mr. Putter. All right. All right, let's get on with the show. Seniors, this is your day. This morning is all about you and your accomplishments. So make sure you acknowledge your classmates and your friends by celebrating what makes the class of 2021 special. The senior class brought continued success to the sense of pride to Bobcat Nation. And thank you, class of 2021, for carrying on your expectations of success. Parents and family members, although we are not able to gather in person, thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to help us recognize and congratulate our seniors by joining through a live stream format. A special thanks to our Byron Administrative Team members, Carolyn Deardorff, Associate Principal, Carrie Nisley, Assistant Principal, Amy Lilly, Assistant Principal, Carol McDaniel White, Assistant Principal, Robin, uh, Ron Mendoza, Assistant Principal, Maggie Norris, Assistant Principal, Brandon Richardson, Assistant Principal. And certainly you can't uh, forget about Coach Pride, who's our athletic uh, director here on campus, as well as Coach Kern. So let us thank those four on our administrative team to put this together. I also want to say a huge thank you to our council team, our lead council, Paige Smith, Leia Berry, Jennifer Martinez, Christina Salcido, Emily Shippen, and Monique Chavez. Also, thank you, Beth Miller, Jimmy Jan, Sheila Polk, and Kathy Booth for doing much of the behind the scenes work to make this event happen. This team is instrumental in putting together this morning's awards and to award to honor our graduates. Byron Nelson has a passionate, energetic, and committed faculty and staff, the best in the state of Texas. And we want to say thank you for joining us through the live stream junior and sophomore classes through your advisory periods. We also want to say thank you to our freshman advisory students who are preparing the hallways in your honor. I also want to say a big, huge shout out to our PTSA president who could not be here today, Dina Coleman, for leading our PTSA and everything that they contribute and how they contribute to Bobcat Nation. As is our tradition at Byron Wilson High School, we honor those men and women who have served or are serving in the nation's armed forces. We know that without your daily sacrifices and without the sacrifices of your family that your family is willing to make, we would not enjoy the daily freedoms we often take for granted. Your sacrifice and service worldwide allows us to celebrate each day without worry or concern for our nation's security and freedoms. Students, if you are now a member or soon will be a member of one of our military branches, please 
please stand.
Um, so now, it's time to recognize the class of 2021, the top 10 academic students. And with the help of Brandon Harper, I'd like to introduce you to the class of 2021 Byron Nelson High School Silver Victoria, Mr. Jackson Owen.
admitted for his friendship as a committed and motivated junior in my new seminar class. In order to grow into a thoughtful and accomplished adult in my AP literature class. It is my belief that being ranked number two in your class is about more than just a GPA. It's also about what you made up. It has been a joy and a privilege to witness this journey and this process in Jackson. Next up is the prestigious business program at the University of Alabama. And in a few short months, Jackson will be in a new place, serving others with his kindness and compassion, leading to the example of his hard work and preparing to make a major impact in this world. Will you please join me in honoring and welcoming our salutatorian of the class of 2021, Jackson Owen. So typically during our World Awards Assembly, we always we have two other medals to give to our salutatory and valedictorian. Jackson has a little bit of an advantage because his parents actually work here. So Coach Owen, would you come on down for a second? Okay, you don't have to jump over the rails this time. You, you may use the stairs. It is our tradition to give the uh, parents of each of our valedictorian and salutatorian a medal as well. And I ask the salutatorian and valedictorian to place that medal around their necks because we know that we do nothing alone. We have, all of us have a support system, whether it's a friend, a family member, a parent, whoever. So, Coach Owen, come on up here for a second. I'm going to ask Jackson to put this around your neck and we're going to give you a round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you, along with Ms. Jennifer Lassau, the person that has finished first in a class of 567 seniors, the valedictorian of Byron Nelson High School class of 2021, Mr. Michael Schmidt. Another time I overheard Michael saying that he had stayed up until 3 a.m. 
working on a project, and he had me at breakfast, and he didn't have any lunch, so I made him take a granola bar out of my closet. A few days later, I pulled him aside, and I said, I'm a little bit worried about you. I know you're taking six advanced level classes and staying up late to do your work. And I told him I thought he needed to slow down and enjoy high school a little bit. And so I said, Michael, are you having any fun? And he looked at me straight in the eye, and with no emotion, he said, yes. <laughs> That was it, that was all I got. Um, so after that, everybody left for spring break, and then no one ever came back. So in my attempt to tell you about the real Michael Schmidt, I asked him out. I asked former teachers, his friends, and even his parents. All of them were more than happy to give me some stories, so here's what I learned. Michael is an incredible student because he constantly challenges himself. Mr. Johnson told me that AC physics didn't come easy to Michael. But what impressed him most was his perseverance. He didn't panic. He worked and he figured it out and got a five on that AP test. Coach Perrin at Met said that Michael was brilliant in his middle school as well. He had a level of maturity that doesn't exist in most middle school kids. Michael had a talent for articulating his thoughts and a level of knowledge that would arrive with most high school AP students. Coach Martin taught and coached Michael at Midland as well. He commented on his enthusiasm for math and their little conversations about high post and low post plays during those glamour days of eighth grade basketball. My favorite story came from Michael's fourth grade teacher, Mrs. Slack. She relayed something that Michael's mom told her when he was nine. One night at dinner, Michael was super excited that he had been given a double sided math worksheet for homework. <laughs> when everybody else had gotten a single sided math worksheet, then he remembered he had been given a workbook when they left third grade to help practice math concepts over the summer, so he ran upstairs to get it and was determined to do all of it as soon as possible. He wanted to show Mrs. Slack when it was done, and his mom begged her to act surprised when he came and wanted to show it to her. He would also ask his parents to create multiplication questions for them to work on, and then he would ask them to use a stopwatch to time them on these parent-created math quizzes to see if he could get them faster. Again, he was not. Now, I will admit that I always knew Michael was funny. He doesn't know this, but I've actually seen some of his Snapchat stories. <laughs> Not surprisingly, Michael's friends were also happy to give me some inside information. Jaden would tell me that she was excited to come to psych class every day because she missed Michael Smith. Not me, her mom. His friend Christian said that even today, whenever Michael and him can see each other, no matter what they're doing, they completely stop, pause, and wave at each other. He also said that growing up, they played basketball together and admitted that both of them had secret aspirations of playing for the NBA. Neil mentioned that Michael would eat the same banana pepper sandwich every day for lunch, and he would call it his one gourmet meal of the day. Cassidy told me how Michael stayed up all night to do his apes project because it was completed on the wrong scale, even though it was only on by a Their eighth grade year, he and Cassidy were both seated on the stage of the National Honor Society presentation. They had prepared speeches, and Cassidy was very nervous. So as he got up to speak, he took his notes out of his jacket pocket, turned to Cassidy, and said, does it look like I'm in Malkia? <laughs> Armand talked about how everybody in lab had already given up on reading that textbook, except for Michael. Armand also added that as hard as he works, he never sacrificed his relationships. Michael was always willing to stop his own work to help someone else no matter what deadline he was facing. Michael's friend Josh has known him since they were eight years old and shared that Michael has a talent for not letting the moment overwhelm him. He said that even though Michael makes it look easy, he has seen the struggle and the sheer determination to do his absolute best regardless of the challenge. Lastly, Graham talked about the times they have spent together volunteering at the Keller Community Storehouse or just hanging out. He noted Michael's natural ability to lead. He has a commanding brother and has become a role model to everyone around him. He is also one of his most reliable friends. Graham said, regardless of the difficulty, Michael is someone I can always count on. I am lucky to have Michael as a friend and I know it will be my life. My last source of information was your parents. And they did not disappoint. And they gave you some wonderful little stories about him. To start, Michael became an uncle during the COVID shutdown and he knows it. He likes to kayak with his sister. He loves to fish unless there's an alligator close by. I don't know that's right. 
His brother taught him how to drive a stick shift because apparently driving lessons with dad were not going very well. He loves to play Call of Duty. He makes a mean chicken fettuccine Alfredo. He idolizes his older siblings. When he was younger, his mom would ask him what he wanted on his pizza, and he would say, whatever my big brother is having on his. Michael writes poetry, and he's really good at it. And he apparently dismantled the King Kong Castle playground set they had in their backyard with a long handle axe. So, Michael, as I was gathering all this information, I really wasn't sure what I was going to do with it. But uh, literally, all of a sudden, the purpose of my speech revealed itself. I know that in your chosen profession, you're going to make important contributions, either with some major medical discovery or in every single moment that you spend with a patient giving them the attention and the care that you think they deserve. That combination of ability and compassion is what will make you unique and common. But right now, what I want you to know is that you've already made a difference. You've already made the world a better place. Hopefully, you can see that everyone around you has been blessed by your brother. They are honored to have grown up with you, to have taught you, to be your brother and sister, or to be your parents. Your genuine character, kindness, humor, and friendship has already made an impact on many of us, myself included. My favorite quote was from Neil, and I think he sums it up perfectly. He said simply, I love that. I say this to Michael and to this entire student class. Be true to yourself, don't lose your passion, and believe in your dreams, because you're all really committed. Congratulations, Michael. And uh, similar to, uh, we gave two medals to uh, Jackson. There are two medals for his parents. His parents have been here before, and so it's a legacy that Michael has left for us here at Byron Nelson High School. We wish you the best, Michael. And thank you, Ms. Lattisau, for your words of encouragement, as well as Ms. Harper. Thank you. Let's give one, one more round of applause. It is now my honor to introduce you to the rest of the top 10 academic graduates in the class of 2021. Students, please come on stage as your name is called and receive your medal and your gold honor cord, which is to be worn during the graduation ceremony. Thank you, Ms. Dernor, for helping us to distribute these cords today. Many of you know Ms. Dernor very well and her commitment to your success as well. Number 10, planning to attend Texas A&M University, Eden Fusselman.
pursue her degree and to play soccer, Cassie Bell. And finishing second, our salutatorian will be attending the University of Alabama in the fall, Jackson Owen. And finishing number one, and attending the University of Texas at Austin, the class of 2021 valedictorian, Michael Schmidt. Seth Curtis, 
Lilia Descanio, Chelsea DeCaro, Megan DeMoss, Omar Jahate, Catherine Dick, Ketsia DeMoe, Nola Dixon, Cooper Donahoe, Joshua Drury, Nicholas Duncan, Jesse Edge, Sean Edwards, Aaron Edinburgh, Alicia Ips, Easton Espinoza, Connor Everett, Ava Fabiano, Julia Faust, Grant Hardwalt, Frank Flores, Kristen Foy, Matthew Green, Eden Busselman, William Gallagher, Kayla Garcia, Vivian G, Arhan Ghosh, Brendan Giordano, Nicole Giovanetti, Hamilton Gonzalez Santi, Emily Gooden, Jordan Gordy, Matthew Green, Natalie Greenwood, Brooke Greer, Haley Griffin, Anna Gross, Dorian Gutierrez Steele, Megan Guy, Lily Hardy, Ella Harmon, Ford Harris, Grant Hartman, Savannah Harwood, Michaela Hayes, Dylan Milbert, Oliver Holman, Iwana Peroni, Miles Renlo, Jesse Avizi, Dave Jensen, Simran Jael, Xavier Juarez Jacinto, Ashley Kadonic, Nick Kellogg, Scott Kinsett, Braden Ketchum, Abigail Kimbrough, Kendall Kleckner, Noah Knox, Braden Pointer, Kylie Kirkendall, Ryan Ladley, Griffin Lamar, Kylie Lasson, Megan Langford, Brennan Lancey, Samuel Larson, Alexander Lass, Ariana Lafer, Jean Lee, Joshua Litz, Reed Litter, Dana Lester, Asia Lewis, Madeline Lewis, William Little, Jaden Lopez, Cherry Looper, Ryan Lynch, Emily Moss, Benjamin McDonald, Aubie Madula, Camden Mahoney, Christopher Martin, Gina Martini, Avery Mason, Stephanie Malkey, Graham Mayfield, Corbin McCoy, Chloe McLeod, Megan Mendez, Adeline Miller, Charles Coleman, Gwyneth Miller, Amber Mitchell, Amani Moore, Mackenzie Moore, Kaden Morgan, Nathan Morgan, Kaylin Moriarty, Kaylin Mosty, Emily Mosty, Brianna Boston, and Ketchy Moeta, Avery Morat, Savelle Mutreja, Avery Nanyast, Sarah Neville, David Wombo, Anatoly Wynn, Justine Wynn, Stephen Wynn, Ty Thomas Wynn, Michael Nielsen, Tyler Nowak, Magento Nyakoni, Derek Osborne, Jackson Owen, Trevor Hacken, Nicholas Palomino, Alexander Paris, Shaylin Palmer, Nisha Patel, Alyssa, Alyssa Paul, Natalie Payton, Madison Pagis, Nina Peterson, Hannah Peterson, Rachel Pettit, Caitlin Penny, Sarah Poole, John Porter, Peyton Pulley, Grace Rapley, Chloe Rasmussen, Sarah Redman, Brooklyn Rimber, Alejandro Reyes, Joseph Richardson, Keith Richardson, Zachary Richmond, Christian Robinson, Caitlin Rodasil, Ethan Rogers, Kaylee Rosskopf, Liliana Ruiz, 
Brady Brewer, Jordan Tormento, Daniel Sawicki, Michael Schmidt, James Seal, Maddie Selzer, Reagan Scherer, Joseph Sharp, Sophia Sharp, Macy Sheldon, Aiden Shepard, Aja Schultz, David Simpson, Carti E.C., Brenton Skelton, Emma Smith, Madeline Smith, Samantha Smith, Arjun Song, Leticia Soto, Natalie Spear, Andrew Spicer, Kennedy Spawn, Alice Springfield, Sydney Stellato, Sheldon Stevens, Brady Stover, Caleb Stover, Lauren Stowe, Caleb Suller, Garima Talwar, Morgan Tamman, Cassandra Taylor, Brooklyn Taylor, Copeland Taylor, Dylan Tennyson, Aaliyah Thomas, Kyle Thompson, Quade Cheddar, Zachariah Tubbs, Caitlin Van Hallinger, Mike Melisar, Grace Vera, Gregory Villasenor, Daniel Bowe, Cameron Wadsworth, Adair Walden, Charles Walker, Katie Moore, Nathan Washburn, Isabella Weaver, Cara Amika Weaver, Hudson White, Alyssa Wilkinson, Gaylin Wilkinson, or excuse me, Gavin Wilkinson, Nathan Wilkinson, Seth Wilkinson, Haley Williams, Kiara Williams, Madeline Wilson, Nathan Windler, Tess Winkler, Brett McCaw, Brooke Yarsh, Abigail Youngs, and last but not least, Andrew Harris. <laughs> Congratulations again to our 287 Bobcat Scholars. At this time, I would like for all our department chairs to join me for our next presentation. You can come back to the front, please. The Outstanding Student Award recognizes students who have gone above and beyond to reach their full potential in the classroom. These students set an example for the rest of our student body of what hard work and determination can accomplish. These students are being recognized for outstanding achievement in the following areas. In English, Emily Moss. In Mathematics, Liliana Louise. Avery Nagyast. <laughs> and social studies, Kayla Mosty. <laughs> and our world language departments, in Spanish, Anna Brownell. <laughs> As you're receiving your award and you have already done so, you will swing back around and take a picture over to my right stage. In French, Alyssa Burleson. In German, Kayla Garcia. In art, Stephanie Malky. In dance, Joshua Abbott. Physical Education Department, Grace Vera. From our Career and Technology Department, beginning with Ag Design, Fabrication, Sciences, and Floral Design, Justin Smith. In Architecture, Engineering, and Interior Design, Erin Eggenberg. And Megan DeMoss. In Business Administration, Banking and Finance, Dorian Gutierrez-Steele. 
in digital media information technology software, Daniel Herrera. Early Childhood Development, Education, and Coaching. We have Kenneth Miller. And Lily Harding. And Health Science EMT, Jordan Herreras. And Megan Langford. And Biomedical Sciences,
So, this is a really, really good one. The five Byron Nelson High School Character Awards represent five traits that were displayed by the life of our namesake, Lord Byron Nelson. We believe these five traits should be celebrated because those will help guide our students in their future successes. These awards are named as follows, Royal Shield of Courage, Noble Hand of Respect, Golden Key of Responsibility, Silver Arrow of Honesty, and Regal Heart of Compassion. And each of these are awarded to one male and one female student. Today, we'll honor these students in the class of 2021 that have been leaders by example in the following areas. Our first award is the Royal Shield of Courage, and it's awarded to students who show a steadfast adherence to a moral and ethical code and are capable of facing danger and fear with confidence and resolution. This female student has been steadfast in her moral convictions during her four years at Byron Nelson. She's been a captain on the soccer team and is led by example she calls everyone in the program to a higher standard by the way she lives. She's not afraid to speak up if others are not following the standards set out by the coaches. And she sometimes gets backlash for doing what is right and working hard, but this does not deter her efforts or her resolve. The Royal Shield of Courage Award goes to Ava Prudence. Our next award, the Noble Hand of Respect, is given to students who take others' feelings, needs, thoughts, ideas, and wishes into consideration and gives them worth and value. This student's teacher explains, I have taught this student for two years and followed her volleyball seasons for the last four. As a student in an athlete, I've heard nothing come from her mouth except respect for others. Some of the most telling times where her care, where her character revealed itself have been on the court immediately after an unexpected and devastating loss. And in the days afterward, while it's easy to blame others or the referees or make excuses, she would never do that. Instead, she would say things like, they worked hard and deserved it, or they were a better team that day. Her remarks always remain positive and respectful even in difficult times. And the recipient of the Noble Hand of Respect Award is Ms. Eden Fusselman. <laughs> the male student was always a friend to everyone on the team, especially those without a traditional place to fit. In his own unique way, he made everyone feel as if they belonged and were an integral part. In rough times, good times, and all the in-between, he was the glue that held people together and kept them going. The male recipient receiving the Noble Hand of Respect Award is Mr. Reed Leonard. <laughs>
The golden key of responsibility is our next door. It's given to students who accept and take the necessary action to bring an assigned task to a successful completion. This student is an amazing young lady that has stepped up time and time again over the last two years to accomplish great things on our campus. She's part of our Academy of Biomedical Science, Links Crew, Student Council, NHS, and much more. She does all this with a huge smile on her face and always has a positive attitude. If you need someone to accomplish a task, you can always depend on her. The golden key of responsibility is presented to Ms. Kendall Fletcher. The male recipient is a leader on our campus, on the court, and in the classroom. He's known for taking care of business in all areas of his life, which his coaches claim has been especially evident in the last year. He knows when it's time to get down to business and he never disappoints. The male winner of the Golden Key of Responsibility is Mr. Peyton Morgan. Our next award is the Silver Arrow of Honesty. It's given to students who are found to be trustworthy and upright through a sincere and straightforward way of life. The female recipient is honest, dependable, and selfless. She will quietly lead by example and model the absolute best behavior and ethics for the entire group. Receiving the Silver Arrow of Honesty Award is Ms. Emily Moss. The male recipient was a captain for the football team. Coach Leonard claims he always held his teammates accountable by telling them how the cow ate the cabbage. He works hard on the field and in the classroom. He's always been dependable and known for having the utmost integrity. Receiving the Silver Arrow of Honesty Award is Mr. Benny Sekiri. And our final character award is the Wig of Heart of Compassion. It's given to students who take into account the distress of others and attempt to alleviate their suffering through acts of kindness. They seek to benefit by bringing joy to life. Seek to benefit others. The female recipient is a young lady who has a heart for service. She's a naturally quiet individual. But her compassion for children that are sick or in the hospital truly allows everyone to see how bold her character and her heart for service is. She's truly a beautiful soul that will change the world for the better. The female recipient of the Regal Heart of Compassion Award is Ms. Raymond Coffey. Whether it's helping a classmate with homework or helping a classmate, um, helping them with strategies to prepare for a test. He's willing to take time out of his schedule and seems genuinely excited to be helping. He has served in the Spark Group to promote kindness and positivity at Byron Austin High School. He's always coming up with great ideas to keep the organization going even after he graduates because he knows it's important to help others. Receiving the Regal Heart of Compassion Awards.
congratulations to all of these very special Wildcats. Got a little problem there. All right, uh, before I announce the, uh, these next two awards, just some logistical information, seniors, I want you to be aware of while I have you here. I want to say thank you to Dr. Warren, Dr. Dr. Griffin, and Dr. Ferris once again because they worked hard to put our graduation exercises together on June 1st. Now, some of you have asked me about practicing, and there's this thing called Facebook. And if you're not familiar with Facebook, you may want to ask your parents. Because if you will go to our Byron Nelson High School Facebook page, the district has put together a video about graduation exercises where you will go, uh, you will walk through the, uh, the uh, PDC building or the administration office in, to proceed down on the field. Now, Ms. Deirdre, Ms. Nisey, Ms. Daniel Y, our administrators, I'll be there to help you be successful on a particular day. So Dr. Ferris, Dr. Warren, and Dr. Griffin, thank you so much for helping us today that day together for our seniors. Also, students, your, uh, your, your, your parents have received some information through your school messenger about that particular day. So, if you're asking, I don't know nothing about graduation, uh, that's inaccurate. Because I see you to go to the Facebook page and you'll find a lot of information there. The other thing about logistical, when this uh, award ceremony ends, as is our tradition, uh, you will stand and you will say your chant, and I want to say thank you to Cole Miller for putting the sunglasses in your class chant underneath your chair. It's been a while, probably since you've done that. And as you recall, the seniors always win the class chant. Now, the, the rest of the class classes should be watching, should be watching, so let's make sure our seniors win a class chant, possibly. But we're not done yet. Because I've had just a couple more things to say. It's now time to announce the recipients of the Byron Nelson Award. These students were chosen for their overall leadership, service, and academic achievements through their time here at Byron Nelson High School. They exemplify the legacy of our name saved by the life they choose to leave. These two students possess the very characteristics that make Bobcats special. The Byron Nelson Award is given to students who serve as an example to the campus, student body, and faculty, and combines all three components of our model of awards. The first of these three is learn, and is exemplified by a student who serves as an example by consistently engaging and giving their best in everything. By seeking out opportunities for improvement in academics, extracurricular activities, and character. Next is the word serve. This component looks for students who serve as a support by continually putting the needs of others before themselves and who are quick to lend a helping hand to those in need. These students possess a genuinely kind and unselfish spirit. And the final component of our model of this award is LEAD. These students serve as a role model by consistently taking initiative to further school pride when opportunities present themselves. And they seek to build up those around them and show courage and integrity in decision making. So before the pandemic caused us to halt many of our usual routines, I would often meet with Miss Peggy Nelson every now and then. Our two favorite spots to go out to eat was Pizza Hut or Whataburger. One of the things I remember about the things she mentioned was the dedication that Byron Nelson, the golfer, the man, demonstrated about his passion for golf. I remember that she talked about how his love for the game caused him to find ways to make things happen. Pele, one of the greatest soccer players of all time, stated that success, well, is no accident. It is hard work, perseverance, learning, study, sacrifice, and most of all, love of what you do or learning to do. And while Pele may have made that observation, I think we can all agree that our very own Byron Nelson, years before that, did the very same thing. Therefore, as we think about ways to demonstrate the values that he had, there is one young lady who comes to mind. And while she represents many on this campus who are committed to learning, her contributions stand out and are recognized. Like those who have received this Byron Nelson Award before her, they all have one thing in common, a love for learning, whether on the field or in the classroom. Our Byron Nelson Hospital staff members have noticed this person these last four years and with this recognition in mind, 
Let's notice her now. Congratulations to Cassidy Bell, this year's female Barbara Nelson Award. When someone thinks about success, oftentimes he or she believes that success is measured by natural talent. Well, that kind of definition is pretty narrow. Success is not defined just by natural talent alone, rather it is accompanied by respect for others, commitment to a greater goal, and an understanding that our lives are not defined by just one moment. Our lives are made by many moments, and when we simply believe that one moment defines us, leadership tells us something different. Larry experiences one on top of another and realizing that those moments teach us something important if we allow them to do so is one example of leadership. For example, think about this baseball player from a long time ago named Satchel Page who did not allow one moment to stand in his way of accomplishing more. Did, did you know he was the oldest major league baseball player to debut in the National League? He could have given up, but he didn't. In fact, he said, never, never let your head hang down. Never give up and grieve. Find another way. Our Byron Nelson Award winner for 2021 is a young man who doesn't give up. When reviewing his high school career, you will find someone who is willing to lean forward, support others, and never let his head hang down. Instead, he lifts others up, and in doing so, models the expectation of our school's namesake, Byron Nelson. Our Mel Byron Nelson Award goes to Jackson Owen. Class of 2021 will be moving on to different challenges. Their high school journey is complete, ready to face the world in front of them. Then it will be your time to leave. And once all seniors have left this gym, you will join me in this gym. I will share some thoughts with you, and I issue a challenge how you are going to leave Byron Nelson High School during your senior year, class of 2022. But this moment, this moment still belongs to the class of 2021 because our classes of 2024, freshman classes, they've been out decorating the hallways in your honor. After you have completed your walk to be recognized, you will all gather in the foyer. Your class officers will then lower your banner. And I will expect all of you to be in that foyer cheering on your class officers as they lower your banner to get it ready to carry in to graduation on June 1st. So seniors, let's stand together. Join your classmates in song as we celebrate with our band leading us in the Byron Nelson High School on the Mar.
Kenny? You got a spot now too. You got to go find a spot too. I'm 
mind. How will you, or how will they build upon the traditions of positive things you will do for this campus and become better because you have lived in these hallways and rooms during the, the past 12 months as they look to celebrate you those last 12 months? And only you can answer that. However, there are a few things that I do have some answers for. You are a talented and caring group of young people. I've seen you show compassion for others. I have seen you reach out to those who feel excluded. I know that about you. I challenge you to broaden that work by leading our campus into new ways of caring for others. You have the means to make it happen. Now, there's a quote that's not attributed to anyone in particular, but it challenges us all to decide. Is it one day, or is it day one? Let's make your today, day one, that the class of 22 goes down in history as remarkable. Let's make that quest unquestionable. We can do it, right? Yes, here's the car right. Let's come up and sing. Let's take a chant. And after you take a chant, I know if you remember your chant. Anybody remember your chant? We're going to struggle. You got to be alive. Come on up. Let's do it. And after that, you are dismissed to go to third period. Who's going to lead it? Volunteers. Listen to up.
Okay. And you're going to stop. 